a warm welcome and a heartfelt thanks to all of you who have gathered here to mark this special day celebrating one woman. This is a day where we highlight many facets of being a woman in a world still dominated by men and bringing alternative perspectives of a world dreaming with joy, happiness, and harmony. We still make to our kids the stories of Rapunzel, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella. A prince charming eventually must come to rescue the damsel in distress, right? The women always are depicted in the stories in a poor light, as feeble, docile, gentle, just like snowflakes, just like touching ones, isn't it? It is as if a woman's happiness and freedom are defined by a man in her life. Even though we have progressed from our shadowy past into being women with vision and voice, there is there still exists society's inequitable treatment of women. As a result, women are still viewed as those who need help of a man to take a decision of their own. So today, let today be the day where we tell a different kind of story. Stories with strong voice and gallant women. Stories of women in control. Love, charm and sensibilities are not their weakness but their shining and glorious armor. In that way, we bring to you three women characters from literature portrayed by none other than the great poet Rabindana Tagore. Tagore, the Nobel laureate, leads her introduction. We all know him from his songs, verses, novels, memoirs, letters, and essays. He was a man far ahead of his time. He used his pen to challenge the stereotypes, inequality and injustices in the world, and most importantly, gave a voice to women through his stories. The idea of women's liberation was inherited by Tagore from his family, a family that included free thinking women who were quite progressive and way beyond the contemporary conservative and ritualistic practices and thoughts. All these women shaped Tagore's mind towards women's liberation and empowerment which was manifested in his creations. Today, we are celebrating the legacy and glory of three of his leading heroines who are bold, talented, empowered, and shattered the stereotypical concepts of women. They openly challenge social evils like untouchability, patriarchy, and gender bias. by Chandalika. The story revolves around the Chandalika whose name is Prakriti. Being an untouchable, Prakriti faced cruel rejection from the society that made her feel miserable and rebellious. Once, Anandu, a Buddhist mom, requested her for water to quench his thirst. He paid no heed to her untouchability. The girl was hesitant at first. But the mom's calm and the calm assurance sparked a new strength in her heart. For the very first time, Prabhupada gave herself free from all sorts of rejection and humiliation. The sudden outburst of emotions made her fall for anger. Father, in the end, she conquered her mortal desires and followed the path of Nirvana.
of gold. He valued no human life and made his citizens slave in his gold mines. The unfettered mining and mechanization led to gradual destruction of nature and made the life of its citizens dull. Eventually, Nandini had to take a stand against man's defense to establish his absolute dominance over nature, even if that meant giving her all and everything.